is Maya. Today is Wednesday, so it's another shave video. Right, what am I going to be using today? Well, it's going to be a bit of a, a, a teeny bit longer than usual. I'll be doing a very quick hydrating cleanse with this um, infinite cleanser. I have hot water in the basin next to me. Then I will be using my Timberwolf, Yucky Timberwolf 26 mils. I'll be using my Blue Scuttle, Large Blue Scuttle. I don't often use that. I'll be using Soapwise, carry on with the UK theme. Still on Signature Soaps, Valencia. Sandalwood, Bergamot and Vertifer. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. It's new. Not done. Tested it yet. Interesting scent. That's what it looks like. It's a crope. It's a soft soap. Very interesting. And I'll just take a little bit out. Here's my trusty little knife. I'm taking this much out, closing that up, very interesting scent. I can smell the vertiva and the bergamot more than the sandalwood at the moment, putting that into the bottom of my scuttle, then we press that down. Okay, put my knife to the side, so I've just push, pressed that down. Right, I'm going to be using my Above the Tie Calypso, and in that, I, oh, there we go, it's a three piece. In that, I am putting in my Gillette Silver Blue. And this is wrapped up double. Uh, every time I have troubles getting it out, both wrappers. Da, da, de, da, da. Here we go. Also put that to the side. This is on its second use. So that's my Gillette Silver Blue. Stainless. There we go make sure it's on straight there we go this is a plain grade aluminium there we go so that's in it has a little bit of an overhang then I will be using my balancing toner And then a combo of restoring cream and serum. So, oh, and then I'll be doing a bonus. I'll be testing the same soap out with my leaf, which has got the Astra Green blades in. I put them in prior to, otherwise the video will be too long. And Astra Green blades on my legs. So let's get going first i'm going to rinse here my face and i might have to change the camera a couple of times i don't know yet so that's just warm water i have in here today not cold and i'm using my hydrating hydrating cleanser just getting a little bit out, that should do it. And I'll put the details once again at the end of the video. 
So if I'm out the picture, that's because I'm getting to the basin. And rinsing. So that's the cleansing done. Let's get the timber wolf dipped into. Let me just let's just go like like that. There we go. Let's dip that in. Okay, here we go. There's no water in there other than the little dip I had in the basin, and I even shook that out. Hope it doesn't clank too much. Oh, the scent is coming out very nicely indeed. I'm liking the scent. I think this is my first sandalwood scented. Five mils. I'm just going straight in with five mils. I'm not even going to do a slow one today. Five mils straight in there. Wait, I'll dip the camera so you can see. I'm hoping you can see. Okay, dip it a bit more. Hope it's not going to fall over. So as you can see, it's rather wet in there now. Let's just go. Go with the flow. You don't have to go bit by bit by bit. So this is one teaspoon straight in there. Let me see if I can get this a bit more stable so it doesn't wobble quite as much for you to see. already producing a wonderful lava here. Can you see that? There's a sheen coming on, but I'm guessing this is needs a little more water. Because it feels... Can you hear that? That's he it, it sounds like it's a bit too sticky still as well. Right, so let's fill up some more. Right, how much have I got here? Another teaspoon. I'm not putting the whole teaspoon in. I'm putting half a teaspoon in. I'm just going a bit gentle, otherwise all the soap's going on the floor. I've already spilled some of it onto the floor. Here we go. And there's immediately the sheens come up. doesn't sound quite as sticky. Let me go for a feel. Let's just take the edges here. Let's see if I can get that. That wasn't very clever. <laughs> now I've got definitely everything on the floor. Look at this mess guys. See that? <laughs> Soap everywhere. Okay, right, let's have a, just a quick feel, lovely scent, 
yes this is sleek and everything this is perfect right let me just before I make more mess let me pause you <laughs> that's going to be a good video isn't it right here we go let's wet my face once more so I might have to now make some more later for the legs right let's just wet the face like that here we go let's get this on uh, let me just make sure I don't put the scuttle too close to the edge so it doesn't fall down <coughs> oh sorry going to use some of this lather <laughs> just do it with the hands quickly right I was trying to get it a bit off the brush there right here we go I best put the glasses on, otherwise you're heading for a disaster. One thing I must say, I don't know if I mentioned that in one of the former videos, is that if you're using this and you put it in hot or cold water, it will take on the temperature of the water rather quickly. So don't have too hot water. Or you'll burn your face as well. This is... I must say it again, a fabulous soap. So slick, really great. And I'll have another sniff of the scent to see if I can get a better description for you. So that is round one. It's not called round. Doesn't matter, I call it round one. Okay, here we go. You see, I tried to get it into the bowl. Round two. I'm loving the scent. Sandalwood is coming out a little bit more, but I don't know if you've ever smelled proper sandalwood. It's not as strong as that. It doesn't nearly smell as woody as you would think. It just gives it a nice deep touch. I don't know if I'm imagining that, but it's either the bergamot or the vertivus making this feel. Gives it a hint of a cooling effect. Is that, is that right? Or am I just imagining this now all of a sudden? It's 
So I've read up in the <laughs> online that it's becoming increasingly popular also here in the UK to call Wednesdays hump day. Now oh, that's an expression I cannot get used to. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> This is already BBS. This is superb. Right, I think I don't need to overshave because I'm going to be doing another one this week. So let's have just a wipe. How did I get it up my nose? I do not know. And on my glasses. Okay. Let's have a little feel. Even here, nothing there, nothing whatsoever. It's just it's it is a beautiful, subtle but really warm a, a, a warm scent, as in earthy is more the word maybe. Earthy, just lovely. Right, what am I doing? Oh yes. I'm talking too much instead of concentrating. Okay, let's try this off. After feel. Very slick, very nourished, moisturized actually. But it is the same base, I think, as the others. I'll just hold it up. I haven't, oh, it's not on here. It's not. I'll put it at the back of the video. Um, I will give all the information. So let's get some toner on. Um, what shall I say? I think this signature signature soaps are amongst the best out there. I must say. I mean, I can't compare it to many. English ones yet but we'll be going through a few but I can compare it to like my favorite Italians which is Saponico Barracino and even Pro Rosso on the other end and I would say in a different way it's up there right Righty ho, I'm trying to organize myself whilst I'm talking. That was the toner. Let's just put now a hint of serum, a spritz of serum. And a press of the lotion. Did you see that? Okay, let's mix those two together. Actually, this the scent, the, the scent of the lotion and of the soap round each other out very, very well. Okay. It's getting more and more autumn feel to the days out there. So I'm using different creams now as well for my face. Change of season. Oh yeah, I'm liking this. So now, let's, now we've seen how it works with the DE razor. Yes, in fairness, it was a mild one, but with the um, Gillette Silver Blue, Love, love Gillette Silver Blue, by the way. One of my favorites. It turns out to be one of my favorites. Um, let's see how the soap works on the legs. So I'll be adjusting you guys and I'll be with you in a second. Okay, here we go. My not so sexy legs. Right, let's get them wet.
and let's see how this performs with the leaf. Okay, because often the soap is completely different on legs. So we'll just test this out as well. This is the bonus for today. And you see, summer legs out and still nothing. I'm still white as can be. This is <laughs> all year round. Snowy legs. Okay, that looks actually very good. Right, now let me concentrate, not that I do the same mistake as I always do, is talk and then not paying attention. So hardly any pressure. And just gliding. Easy clean, just swiveled it through, swooshed it through some water. not sticking oh look at my nice pattern what have i been doing there i don't know it's the trousers i've been wearing i don't know gliding through it's not sticky it is drying out but I, that happens to me always with my with the soaps on my legs so I'm just going to wet my fingers a little bit more there we go just wet my fingers dry them off just add a little bit more Soap. There we go. And I have got enough soap in there. I wasn't sure I did. I've seen quite a few husbands trying to convert their women to DE razors in the groups. And some have asked about soaps. Well, here you go. Now you have a soap that you can use on your face and behaves very well on the legs as well. If anything, you maybe want to make it a little thinner There you go. Leaf for me is perfect. It's exactly the middle thing between a cartridge and a DE razor. DE razor can be a bit more complicated for first time users. Um, on their legs to get the angle right especially if it's a DE razor with the short handle I like the length of this handle and let me just put some Nivea cooling on it glides through like nothing superb sleekness feels great I just want a little bit of scent. It doesn't really need the after balm because this soap does have a wonderful after fatting experience. Right, let's shake my leg down, the other one. Okay, let's get this one wet. There we go. Let's get some 
some soap on there. just put this here this is too close to the edge I don't want to break my lovely scalpel okay deep breath no talking concentrate so you see it doesn't really clog Even with the soap that's quite thick. You know I normally do a thinner soap. And it swooshes out easy. That's a technical term, by the way, swooshes out easy. Oh, I think I'm done, guys. When I say guys, I mean you girls as well, of course. Doesn't even need to touch up. There you go. That was the bonus. There. And I've got still loads of the lava left. Even though I dropped quite a bit of it on the floor, I still have loads left. Astra green blade in the leaf. Works, works good for me. Put some of the Nivea on. I like this actually on my legs better than on my face. I don't really like the feel of this Nivea on my face. So I'll get sort of sticky on my face. Okay, there you go. Let me pause you. Right, let's have a review whilst I clean up a little bit, clean as I go. So, result. Actually, I love this base, so soap base, no matter what scent you choose, I'm guessing you, that's, a, that's, well, up to you what you feel like, really. But the soap base is fabulous also for the leaf, which is, some say, some don't get really on with this, but I've used it now a few times and I'm getting on better and better with this. I'm more and more relaxed with how to use this leaf. Uh, I am liking it. Now, I know I didn't put the blades in with you, but I will take them out. You see, here's a screw. So you unscrew this. This won't fall out, by the way. It has a mechanism that, that it doesn't. And now I'm just, hang on, putting my scuttle, I'm just putting the towel up here next to me so that I can put the blades on it. Make sure they don't fall down the basin. So now you open that up and you see the blade is in there. I've just swished it through some water and they hold. Uh, they're half DE blades. And there it is, that's number one, there's three. And then you unfold the next layer. Oh, that's the bottom layer. Hang on, I can't see, because I'm looking into the camera. There we go. That's a little bit tricky. There we go, it's tricky because it's wet. Okay, um, here's the next layer. And you see it has these little notches here. That's where you line the blade up. And 
there's little magnets that will hold the blade. That's why I can show it to you like that without them falling out. So that's layer two. And the third and last layer, number three. So I've learned it's best to take them out so that you can give this a good clean and dry and also the blades. That's why they last longer, they won't rust and or anything. Um, so there you go, that's the leaf. I will clean that after. Right, I used otherwise the Calypso Aluminium. I love it. It is lightweight. I'm just drying it off here next to me on the towel so I can screw it back together. Excuse me for looking down and not into the camera. Okay, so here, that's the Calypso. And I've dried that and cleaned it off. Careful with the, um, the wind. Don't wind it too fast or too strong. That's the Calypso. I like this, even though it's a short handle one, I wouldn't use this for the legs. This is a little bit too short for me for the legs. I have done it before, but uh, yeah, you've got to be knowing what you're doing. Yeah, let's say it that way. Then I used, let's take this now to the side. To the side that's just the Nivea that was just this that fell over um, so I used the Calypso with the Gillette stainless steel which I'm now putting back into here that was its second use so and it comes wrapped double also another mark of a great blade good quality blade that's uh, a towel fusel. Okay, let's put that back in its little envelope. Here we go, silver blue little envelope. Stick that back into the cupboard. There you go. And yucky timber wolf. I really like the scent. It's not too much, not too too mas masculine. It's not. Let me just go like that. There we go. Not too masculine the scent. I like it a lot. It has the, just the right balance and is not overpowering. So I'm just washing my brush out, shaking it out a bit, and putting it here on the windowsill for a minute whilst I'm still talking to you. On head down onto my towel so I can drip into the towel as I haven't got the windows open because I, otherwise you won't be able to hear me at all. So I'm drying just my leaf off at the moment. I'm drying all components inside. Put the camera down, it's a bit wonky, I'm sorry. But here I've got, let's see, can you see that? Here I have the blades. This is just a normal towel. And I've washed it. I'm just going through all components like that. Making sure that everything is dry. Also the back. And that will just be left open like this and, well, as in not screwed tight. And I'll leave that on the windowsill to dry out as well. Same like the Calypso. And drying off the blades. Don't cut yourself doing this. And because they're Astra, I won't buff them. I'll just leave them as they are. I'll just dry, that will be sufficient. And I'm putting them back into their little wrapper. They were also on their second use. And the Astra Greens I normally don't use more than four times anyway. So 
these are dry that can go back into here like that for the next use like that there you go that'll go into the cupboard I normally fold this over like that so that I know and it's written on there there we go tidy up my Nivea um yeah what shall I say scuttle scuttle next just give this a good rinse can you see that there we go just rinsing that I'm not going to use any more of it inside and out give this a dry I love this scuttle it has just the right width for me it could be a little higher having said that the higher ones that um, the guy makes Steve Woodland they are maybe a bit too high for me um, so this is this is good for me scuttle then I used obviously beforehand I used the hydrating cleanser the infinite hydrating cleanser and the balancing toner and the two creams right scent wise let's go back to it did how did this smell in comparison now to the closed tub right once you've lathered it just combines things a lot nicer the water and the lathering action as in the lathering action will combine this a lot better and will make it more harmonious if that's a word 1a for slickness 1a for bind to the skin protection lather fabulous too um i i've tried this also with not the scent but a sample with two teaspoons of water and even so it was very liquid i had lot less lot less soap i had most probably like small fingernail size or even smaller than that and with teaspoon two teaspoons of water so 10 mils I couldn't drown it it was liquid but it was still lathering away like crazy so 1a on the lathering of these this hybrid base I haven't used the others yet but I will report so fantastic post feel fantastic I am actually in love with signature soaps in case you haven't noticed and I'm not being paid by them to say this here I've not been sponsored whatsoever so <laughs> so that's just that that is it for today have I forgotten something I don't know I've got a feeling I've forgotten to say something or I was going to say something and haven't if there is I'll note it and I'll tell you next next weekend this weekend there'll be another one so see you soon bye bye